My name is Olusha Yababatunde. I'm an e-payment professional, and this is my Jesus story. It happened on the 12th of December, 2008. I was at the redemption camp with a friend, and um, we were discussing, um, we were discussing about life, God, and many other things. And um, the discussion got intense, and um, I got teary at some point, and she was like, "Maybe you need to talk to God." At that moment, I moved towards the altar, and there was a barricade actually. I stayed at the barricade, I put my head down, and at that point, I, I gave my life to Christ. I dedicated everything to him, I laid everything all down before him, and that, that's my Jesus story, and it became different ever since. Before I met Jesus, actually, before I gave my life to Christ, I've been a pastor's kid all my life, and being a PK, you know, there, there are expectations around it. People, you know, built these expectations around pastor's children, and. Uh, for me, it was trying to meet up with people's expectations, trying to live up to those expectations, and um, some created by my parents and others by people around me. Uh, it was really a difficult one, and um, thank God for my parents who raised me well. I was not all that bad. I don't know who, who measures how bad we are, but I know I wasn't all that you know bad. I was just a church boy, but then I knew something was missing. I knew I needed something else and um, that, that happened when I met Jesus. I felt complete and I felt, you know, different. Um, one of the beautiful things that have happened to me since I met Jesus is the fact that now I feel the confidence to talk to God anytime I want. I feel that personal touch. I, I know that I have a Heavenly Father who cares about me, who knows about the, the minutest of the details of things that are around me, things that pertain to my life. I mean, he's very concerned about me and that, that assures me every single moment. It assures me every single time. And that's that one major thing for me because we all need that personal touch to be able to feel God by ourselves, not what people tell us about God or not, not what, you know, the third party explanation about God. I feel God for myself and that means a whole lot to me. Wherever you're watching this from, I need you to know that God is intentional about our lives and um, you didn't come to this world by yourself. You didn't come to this world just because your mom met your father or anything happened. God knew about everything and he wants to help you live the best life here. Your life is about him. And then um, if you're living your life outside of Christ right now, you cannot live complete. No matter what you have right now, no matter the things you're exposed to, I want you to know that Jesus is what makes your life complete. And if you've not met Jesus, this is the right time for you to meet him. It's simple. It's just by saying a simple prayer and, you know, it takes you in and you become a part of the family and your life gets better from that moment. This is the time to make that decision. Don't wait any longer. I don't know what part of the story really got to you, but there must have been something that kept you glued to your screen up till the end. And I believe that God wants you to have a brand new start with him in your journey of faith so you can explore his love and be totally transformed. So maybe you're ready right now saying, I'm so sinful, my past is dark, I've made some mistakes, I've fallen by the wayside. Maybe you've actually done some really bad things by all standards. Maybe you've even killed somebody before, stolen or scammed somebody, misrepresented, gotten involved in identity theft. Whatever the issue is, the word of God says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It says the wages of sin, it is death. Well, the gift of God is life everlasting. Now, how do you receive this gift? How do you move from that place of darkness and depravity to that place of light and life in the things of God? Very simple. It says with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So I don't know how you feel or what you're thinking right now, but if you're ready to receive this brand new life, you might have questions, you might have thoughts, you might have concerns, but if you're ready to receive this brand new life, you might have a dark past, but if you're ready to receive this brand new life, I want you right now, right where you are, if you can close your eyes or take a posture of concentration and repent. To repent means to turn away and to turn to, to turn up, to turn upwards. Say this prayer, with me but as you say this prayer don't just repeat words i want your heart to be in it it says that he that comes to me i will in no wise cast out that's the promise of god so let's go say god i thank you for your love for me i thank you for sending your son jesus christ to die for me 
today I acknowledge that I am a sinner, that I have missed the way, that I have turned away. But today I repent of all my sins and my wrongdoing. And I turn to you as my hope. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins and he rose again on the third day. I place my faith in Jesus as the perfect substitution for my sins. I receive your life, O oh God. I receive a new beginning. I confess that Jesus is the Lord of my life, now and forever. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you just said that prayer, something has happened. If you said it with faith in your heart and you believe in Jesus Christ and his flesh work on the cross, you have been translated from darkness into light. But you have some questions or some things you want to get clarity on all you need to do right now is please send your full name your phone number and email address to the number on your screen please send it right now to the number on your screen and one of our people will call you to pray with you to walk with you and to help you get integrated into a spiritual family that will transform your life forever and that way not only will you have watched jesus stories you now have jesus in your story and not just on your stories Talk to you in the next video.